Octavia Sharp, and I am with my guest, Devin Weeper. And today we are talking all about authenticity and really authenticity. expressing your own unique self image and having your inner and outer be a match. So, that's right. Yes. So, I want to go ahead and get right into it. And, Devin, why don't you tell us about yourself? Cool. Hey guys, my name is Devin Weefer from Intercore Coaching. I work with executives and entrepreneurs, uh, helping them perform better in their life and get the results that they're looking for. And typically that's through authentic expression um, and deep inner trans transformative work. Um, how we linked up is I actually did seven years in the fashion industry, and so I have a love for style and fashion. Um, and that's a big part of self-image and self-confidence. Uh, so as Tavia does the inner and outer work and really focuses on the outer work or the outer part of things, I focus on the inner process um, and we're just a good pair. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. And just for those who don't know me or what I do, I'm actually a image coach and a men's style expert and I spent about 15 years working in the fashion industry as a designer and I work for some brands like Calvin Klein and Macy's and Nautica and now I take that experience and I actually apply it to both individuals and companies and I help them with their image and their personal brand you know, through workshops and training and one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching as well. So that's both of us. So yeah. today we want to talk about authenticity and both of us being from the fashion world we thought this is a great topic because you know we both think it's important to actually uh, dress as you would your authentic self and and how do you actually go about doing that you know what does that mean and why we think it's important to do that so what is the authentic self <laughs> yeah I mean I think it's about um, your values and mm -hmm. really getting down to the core of what how you think about yourself and how you want to present yourself into the world. So exactly. yeah. it's it's really thinking about um, being intentional is what I, I always tell my clients and what I speak a lot about is intentionality because we all have to get dressed. We all have to go outside of the house and wear clothes, but sometimes it's, it's an afterthought. You know, like mm -hmm. we are rushing in the morning, getting things done, and then we think, oh, what am I gonna wear today? But Actually, if you did that in reverse and you were actually thinking more intentionally when you open up your closet or even planning it the night before, then you can think about, okay, where am I going today? You know, who am I meeting with and how do I want to express myself? Like, how do I want to present myself to the world today? And what is the impression I want to leave behind? So what, what do I want to leave people with? Because it is the first impression. And, mm -hmm. you know, how do you use your clothing as a tool to express who you are and what you're about? So. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to say I don't I don't wear clothes that express my authentic me. I wear clothes that accent who I already am. So we're going to talk a lot about authenticity and self-image and confidence and how to sort of maximize who you already are. Yeah, exactly. And so you know, like it all really comes down to the value that you provide and and how you want to present that to others. So. Mm -hmm. What message do you think that your clothes actually communicate to people, you yourself? Yeah, um, as far as my outfit, um, you know, my style is put together, um, you know, uh, ornate details. I like details, like me personally. Um, so I like that to translate, but also the casualness of, uh, like, my cap um, translates as, like, relaxed, open, um, Centered, grounded. Mm -hmm. And do you feel like that um, when you choose clothing, like that's what you think about? You know, how am I going to incorporate this into how I want to present myself and, mm -hmm. and my brand? Do you mm -hmm. think about the personal brand yeah, as well? Yeah, com completely. It's mm -hmm. always through, you know, how do I, uh, you know, accent who I already am and like how does that translate from on the other end when people are looking at me, like how are they perceiving mm -hmm. what, I'm, what I'm wearing? Mm -hmm. um, like I'm you know, very structured and detailed. Sometimes don't tell anyone, but I wear the same, you know, jeans because, you know, I'm utilitarian, right? We're in New York City. It's smart. It's smart, right? No one really notices the jeans, right? But, you know, people always notice what you're wearing and, you know, 
gear up, right? Um, mm -hmm. So everything sort of fits into some sort of rationale yeah. um, as far as how I perceive myself and, and what I want to present to the world. Mm -hmm. and, and I like that you brought that up because I think it's important that it's not about buying a whole bunch of stuff. I don't, mm. I don't ever think that it, we need a lot of things. I think it's more about finding the right items that fit you, your lifestyle, and how do you bring it all together and make it versatile? Like for me, I used to design uh, a new line every season and it all went together, the components, like how many shirts I designed, uh, the jacket that went with it, the jeans, you know, everything fit together like outfits. And so that's how I, you know, I bring that to working with my clients because I wanna make it like it's for you. So this is individualized. It's not about buying all these different things. It's about creating a wardrobe that works for you. So like you having, you know, some basic jeans or some basic pants and then how do you maybe mix and match the tops or your jackets and how do you make them versatile for you? So I think that's a good point. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can do some quite some little tweaks to an outfit um, and it'll be experienced as a completely different outfit. Yeah, exactly. But that, that's, that's the whole point, just getting creative with that. So why did you um, pick this print? Um, you know, truth be told, a couple of years ago, I couldn't even wear this print. <laughs> um, I, I sort of would think that this print would be saved for, like, Vegas occasions. Um, because in my opinion, I thought it was too loud or, like, I just wasn't on the confidence level to wear it. Um, and so I would only wear it once or twice a year, but like now, right in this moment, in this season, mm -hmm. this is my, my, my favorite shirt. Mm -hmm. And I figured out a way to pair it in a way that feels authentic to me. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, on, on the loud spectrum, I think it is a little, you know, ornate and, and loud, um, but you know, with this jacket, it, it dumps it down a little bit, um, gives it a little bit more structure, and, and the hat definitely uh, subdues the overall look. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we've talked a lot about is how you know we both approach you know looking at clothing and you said that you know your presence gives power to the clothes where you know I my opinion is is that like the clothes can give you the power you know so tell, tell me more about why you think that your presence gives power to the clothes. I, I think I think people are if you are your authentic self I think you're naturally magnetic, mm -hmm. um, but there is definitely something to be said about wearing nice clothes and understanding the value of pairing different colors and patterns together in a way that is aesthetically very pleasing and, and beautiful to the eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I think it starts with the presence and it starts with the person being aligned and connected to who they are what they stand for, knowing themselves deeply. Um, but that also, that translates in the physical realm, uh, in, in the aesthetics and, and how everything's paired together. Mm -hmm. And it just makes you a magnet for all types of things. Mm -hmm. You know, for getting better dates, for getting raises, uh, being taken uh, seriously. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's a long list of benefits to being aligned inside and out with mm -hmm. uh, the clothes you wear and, and how you show up in the world. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely get, I like what you said about that. And for me, I really think that maybe if you don't feel that confident, then using clothing as a tool to really start to embody more of this confident attitude. So when you walk into a room, you command it mm -hmm. versus feeling like, mm, you know, shrinking in and hiding out and playing small, you can actually start to really think about your clothing as a tool and say, I'm actually going to think about my wardrobe in a way that speaks for me so that when I walk into a room, people notice. Mm. And that's going to get me more attention. That's going to get me more of um, closed business, for example. You know, if you're an entrepreneur or if you're single, maybe it's going to grab some attention of the you know, opposite sex. So, like, I, I, I like to say use clothing as a tool. So I think both are valid, but, you know, it's great to... I agree with that as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Cool. Yeah. So, um, you know, we talked a lot about like, how do you think you're showing up and, you know, just really taking what we're saying and actually incorporating it into your own personal goals. Like, you know, do you feel that 
you really show up in a powerful way and how can you use your clothing, your wardrobe, and the way you dress to do that. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, think about when you're sitting across from someone. Just, like, uh, what are you noticing about them, right? Like, what are you picking up about them? We all do it. Mm -hmm. We all, you know, uh, seek to understand someone by what, what they're presenting. Um, so, you know, for example, I have mala beads. You know, I'm a spiritual person. I, uh, spirituality is a big part of who I am, but I don't, it's not, you know, I'm not, you know, um, trying to convert you into my church, so to speak, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. um, but if someone was paying attention to the details, like I said, I'm a detail-oriented person, and, and you should be too, because you can pick up a lot of clues as far as what people uh, appreciate, what people value, and, and that's oftentimes very much expressed in the brands they wear and, uh, you know, how they style themselves. Um, so, so yeah, so if someone was noticing that they might under if they were spiritual themselves, they might pick up on that mm -hmm. and be like, Hey, like, why, why do you wear those beads? Like, and it, it's a great talking point. Totally. Um, you can just connect with people or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, another example comes to mind, you know, a father who, you know, their son or daughter made them a bracelet in camp, right? Summer camp, right? Um, it's it's a great talking point. Be like, oh, I like your bracelet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's sentimental to him, and it gives him power. And and uh, you know, because we all have the pictures of our kids at our desk, or we wear something from people that are important to us, right? So mm -hmm. necklaces to jewelry to you know um, you know tie bars. I mean, the finer details, if you can pay attention to it, it yeah. really says a lot about who that person is. And you know, you can connect with people on a deeper level. So back to it, like what. <sighs> how are you being perceived mm -hmm. on the other end and mm -hmm. what are you presenting that you're unaware of that's like hindering your performance mm -hmm. um, and how can you present in a way in which is more congruent with how you want to show up yeah and I also think like um, the next thing would be like your mindset around that and how do you um, how are you thinking about it like for yourself and if you're out and you're socially meeting people, like what is your mindset about how you're presenting yourself? Like, do you feeling good about it? Like, is it in the way, you know? Um, maybe you're on a date and you were thinking, oh man, I shouldn't have wore this. Or is she thinking about, you know, how I look? And then that's the thing in the way. When you actually just be there and present with the person, because you, if you know, like that you look, you, look, good, you look good, then you can just throw that out the window and that's not in the space it's anymore. It's not going to be taking up space. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> in, I like that, right? And, and you can just be present with the yeah. person. Mm -hmm. One less thing that's like crowded up here and you can be in there connected in the moment. So what's your mindset, you know, or if you're like networking, you know, a lot of my clients are out networking their business owners or they're in a business where they have to meet new clients and have new opportunities and if they know that they're they look good then like that's like right there they're already in the impression is set you know so they don't have to even think about this being in the way at all so i think you know want to think what right. is your mindset around this and when we're concerned about our, our appearance it's just it's actually impossible to be present yeah when you're thinking about what you're wearing and how you're coming across and like you want to do all that stuff ahead of time yeah. Like you want to be confident when you put things on, like that is in, in congruent with, with who you are. Mm -hmm. um, and then you walk out the door, you forget about it and be like, yes, this is what I'm wearing. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. And you know, that, that translates when you sit across from someone and you're just, just present with them. Mm -hmm. You're not thinking about like, like, oh, do I have something in my teeth? I mean, obviously, you know, <laughs> go to the bathroom, make sure that you don't have anything in your teeth. Right. Um, but you know, it's a distraction. It's a from, distraction. From being connected with someone mm -hmm. and like being lost in the moment of like really understanding them. Because everyone wants to be gotten and understood really yeah. at, at a core human level and mm -hmm. to be seen and understood for what, what we value, what's important and um, who we are when we say, hey, I really like that jacket and you're genuine and you're mm -hmm. not caught up in your own baloney. Mm -hmm. um, and you're present with that person, it, it really translates in, in, in deep connectivity between two human beings. Totally. And I think that um, 
you know, it, it's it's also like a, a form of not only self-respect for yourself, but also respecting other people because, I mean, I have an example. I was like standing on the subway and I was wearing like a really bright colored dress and this woman, she smiled at me and then she said to me, you know what, you just really made my day. Like the color you're wearing is just so happy and bright and, and just like it cheered her up literally something I wore you know this is a complete stranger and she smiled and it was like a genuine connection and I thought wow this is how powerful our clothing can be you know and think about all the things that people don't say you know um, that's really what it comes down to and I feel like well most communication is is nonverbal yeah anyway it really is so if we're not using this as a tool you know and what I like to say is this could become your secret weapon like let it be your secret weapon um and it's so powerful when it is it feels good too when people give compliments and like it's like it's positive reinforcement and then you feel good about yourself and then guess what you attract better things and better opportunities when you feel good and you look good so i guess this is a good segue we really want to you know now put the questions out to you guys like what do you think about this topic you know do you think how you dress is important and you know, send us your questions because actually we're going to be doing um, two more videos as an extension to this. And yep. in the last video, uh, we're going to even give you a special offer. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, you know, we really want to get your questions and answer them on the next time. So let us know. Comment below and share with us. And we look forward to hearing from you guys. Yes. Send in your questions. We would love to take your questions and... Uh support you guys in, in looking sharp and <laughs> being sharp. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Take care.